Greetings, everyone. Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com, and thank you for joining us as we continue on our journey through all the watches and accessories that are available at R2AWatches.com. Today, we are talking about the Atomic Age collection from Vostok Europe. Vostok Europe is a boutique watch brand based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Every one of their watches is custom designed and styled by their team of in-house watch designers there in their facility in Vilnius, Lithuania, and every single one of them is hand-assembled by a team of seven full-time watchmakers right there in Vilnius. Been there many times to their facility. It is a great place. Uh, wonderful people that put together the Vostok Europe watches. Arguably the best watches on the market for the money in terms of pound per pound, dollar for dollar spent. You're getting an amazing amount of watch when you get a Vostok Europe timepiece. Today, again, we are talking about the Atomic Age Collection. Before I jump into that, just going to quickly say be sure and hit like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. That help us with those ad algorithms. If you are watching this on Facebook, you want to join the closed group Vostok Europe Timepieces. That's the best place to find out about all that's going on with the watches that are available at r2awatches.com. That's the letter R, the number two, the letter A, watches.com. Your home for Vostok Europe, Tracer, Pramzias, Claynode, and more. Today, again, we are talking about the Atomic Age Collection from from Vostok Europe. As Vostok Europe likes to say, we are all living in the atomic age. What is this line all about? Well, they are inspired by three of the greatest scientists from the 20th century. In this particular case, it is the Fermi collection. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the life of Fermi. There's also the Sakharov, which you can watch that video on YouTube. There'll be a link below. And you can watch the YouTube video about the Oppenheimer collection, also from the Atomic Age collection. Fermi, he was an Italian-American physicist from the 20th century. He is known as the architect of the nuclear age and also the architect of the atomic bomb. He was a part of the Manhattan Project with Oppenheimer. He was the uh, designer and creator of the world's first nuclear reactor actor known as the Chicago Pile One. That is the inspiration for this particular timepiece. Before I get into the features and benefits of this watch, I'm going to quickly show you the three colorways that are available. First of all, I'm holding the black and yellow, which is just a great pop of color with the all black PVD and the yellow uh, accents on that comes with the white silicone strap. And then it's also going to come with a leather strap with the yellow contrast stitching that is also an integrated leather strap so it's going to be right there up against the case and it's going to give you a beautiful look both whether it's in the silicone or the leather then it also comes in the traditional colors of Vostok Europe which are the red and black so here we have the red and black style comes with a red strap has a light pop of several different places where there's red uh, on the GMT hand there's a little pop of red in the lettering on the dial and then of course it does have the bright red silicone strap that is going to come with the black strap with the white contrast or actually it's more like a gray contrast stitching on this particular one again integrated leather strap extra thick you can see where the strap connects to the watch is an unbelievably thick top quality leather strap here so that is the red and white and then we have this beautiful beautiful rich blue color uh, the the blue with the white offsets on it uh, it is going to be giving you the blue silicone strap. You'll notice this is actually an automatic mechanical. Happen to notice that this one's not running. So I'm going to give it a little bit of juice and get the second hand moving so you can see that this is an automatic mechanical timepiece. It has a rotor in the back that will actually wind the watch as you wear it. And now you can see that the second hand is sweeping. And this is a GMT movement from Seiko in this watch. So what are the main functions and features of the Atomic Age collection from Vostok Europe? I'm going to back up for just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second and show you the packaging. The packaging on this watch is phenomenal. It is a true Pelican case uh, made in the same facility as Pelican cases. It's going to come set up to hold the watch and the strap and the additional uh, elements that come along with your with your watch. Uh, are all going to be in here that the, the the passport book which gives you your operating instructions is going to come with a little set of Vostok Europe stickers it's going to explain how tritium tubes work now this box can actually be converted to hold now notice this is black this happens to be the case for the Energia but it's a, basically the same case it's just a different color these are, hidden inside there are these extra pillows and you can convert this to hold four watches so you actually have a four watch case holder when you get the packaging for the Atomic Age. 
Now I'm going to show you a little bit more about the actual watch itself. So what are some of the key features? Well, first of all, you're looking at about a 48 millimeter timepiece. It's roughly 17 millimeters thick. Now, that's a big watch. We all know that most of what Vostok Europe builds are watches that would be considered larger watches by today's standards. Um, certainly, there are watches out there much bigger than 48, but this is a pretty good sized watch. I want to show it on the wrist because I want you to understand that even though this is a large watch, I do not have a very big wrist. It's about I have about a seven and a half inch wrist. It's interesting how we mix up the the, um, the imperial system and the metric system when you're talking about watches. Everything's millimeters when we're talking about the size of the watch, but then I'm telling you how big my wrist is in inches. I just always find that kind of interesting uh, because it does have the drop down lugs and it has a, a nice curvature to the case. This watch wears very comfortably on the wrist. Abe Weiss, who uh, works with us here at R2AWatches.com, he was actually very surprised when he first got it because when you look at the pictures, you think, man, that's going to be kind of clunky. When you start wearing it, you realize it is quite, quite comfortable on the wrist uh, because of the way the watch is designed. Now, this is a two-piece case on the Ferme from the Atomic Age. Uh, this piece here at the top, the hexagonal part is an actual separate piece that is then riveted into a lower piece of the case with these rivets and you get a two-piece case. What's nice about that, this is a very complicated case and that gives you the opportunity to have more than one uh, finish on the metal. So we have the brushed or... or um, Oh, well, brushed. You have the brushed finish and you have the polished finish. And having those two in combination creates a nice scintillation of light when you wear the watch on the wrist. So this watch is, again, I like to say, one of the reasons that you want to own a Vostok Europe is because a Vostok Europe is a watch that's going to absolutely get noticed on your wrist. And having that ability to have the two different uh, shades uh, or finishes or whatever terminology you prefer in terms of, what, of, of how the case is finished adds to that scintillation of light that's going to catch people's eye and they're going to say, hey, that's a cool watch. Tell me all about it. Now, the other big feature on this is this is an automatic mechanical. It does have an exhibition case back. One of the things I like about the Atomic Age Collection exhibition case back is they're actually the glass is actually lightly colored to match the color accent on the watch. You've got the back case on the yellow, has the yellow, uh, kind of like a smoky yellow on the back. Then you have that beautiful red on the red version, on the red and black version. And then, what a surprise, on the blue, it's blue. So that's a little bit different, not something you see every day. You can see the rotor on the back. I like to refer to these as a, an a, aquarium for watch geeks. So you can look at your movement anytime you want to and see the actual beating heart in the back of the watch, and you can see the rotor move. Now, as I mentioned, this is a GMT. What does that mean? Well, GMT obviously stands for Greenwich Mean Time, but it's a shorthand for watches that have a, a secondary time zone. So in this case, it is a secondary time zone that is on the 24-hour scale. Uh, that's important to point out that you're going to be actually paying attention to the secondary time zone on 24 hours. That means that that hand, the GMT hand, now I'm going to move it here. When you move towards you, all right, now let me back up just a little bit to explain. This is a screw-in crown. That helps with water resistance. This is a 20 ATM water resistant watch that is the level that is required for a professional grade dive watch it does have a screw in crown so before you can pull the crown out you could try to pull this all day long you're never going to get that crown out i will tell you the first watch i ever had with a screw in crown i didn't understand that was the case and i actually almost ruined the watch by trying to remove the crown with a pair of pliers before somebody said hey i think that's a screw in crown uh, so we all have a learning curve when it comes to watches so don't feel bad if it's not something you're familiar with you're going to unscrew that crown you're going to pull it out, and if you turn it towards you, you're going to change the date. If you turn it away from you, you're going to change the position of the GMT hand. And notice that GMT hand is going to go around once every 24 hours. That is on a 24-hour scale. It is not on a noon to midnight 12-12 type scale like your regular timekeeping. So that is one important function. You're going to have a secondary time zone. The other thing that's really critical about this particular timepiece, and let me get my little clicker over here so we can do this. This has tritium tubes. Now what are tritium tubes? Tritium tubes give you the constant illumination. They are laser sealed glass tubes that are filled with a substance called tritium. That substance called tritium is actually a uh, lightly radioactive material that constantly agitates the luminous material inside the tube to give you full-time illumination. 
it stays always lit, like I always joke, kind of like me on the weekends. Uh, coming up on the weekend right now. Um, so it is going to give you constant illumination. It doesn't matter if you put this watch in a drawer for a year. You take it back out, it's still going to be illuminated. Unlike Superluminova, which is the only thing that Vostok Europe uses for their other watches that do not have tritium, where you charge it up in UV light, and then um, it's going to illuminate for a couple of hours at most, and then it's going to fade. This does not fade. It, it will last up to 25 years, and it's going to give you constant illumination. It's fantastic for low light conditions. One of the things that's amazing about what Vostok Europe does is these are stand-up tritium tubes. As far as we know, Vostok Europe is the only brand on the market that does stand-up tritium tubes. They are in a reflective candle holder. Most of the time, tritium tubes lay flat on the dial. Like you see here in the hand, you're going to see, you, you would see the tritium tube laying flat on the dial. The problem with that, if you want to use the word problem, uh, but the reality with that is you're blocking about 30 to 40 percent of the illumination by laying it flat on the dial. By putting it in a stand-up position inside a reflective candle holder, you're getting a great deal more luminosity for each tube than you would normally get. Now I'm going to douse the lights here and we're going to take a quick look at, the, at a loom shot of how this watch looks in the dark. There you go. Wow. Look at that. Fantastic luminosity on this. You can see the sweep secondhand. You can see how um, in the stand-up tritium tubes, you can actually see here how it's reflecting against the side reflectors to give you more luminosity than you would normally get if it were laying flat on the dial. So there's your loom shot. I'm going to quickly turn back on my little light here that shines onto the watches to show you more. Uh, some other key features. They are all surgical grade stainless steel. Vostok Europe does not do any base metal. They do not build anything out of brass. They are all surgical grade stainless steel. That's important to note. It also has the K1 mineral crystal system. The K1 system gives you the best of both worlds. If you look on the Mohs scale, that's the hardness scale. A sapphire crystal sits at a 9. A mineral crystal sits at a 5. The K1 system sits at a 7. That gives you nearly the shatter resistance of mineral and gives you nearly the scratch resistance of sapphire. It it is the best of both worlds for a sport watch like the Atomic Age from Vostok Europe. Every one of these is a numbered limited edition. I really like to point out the isotope etched into the case side and the fact that the limited edition number is actually etched into the case side of the watch. That costs a lot more than how it is to simply etch onto a flat case back like the screw-in case back here. It costs a lot more to do this and it really creates a nice look and feel and everybody can see that you're wearing a true limited edition watch. And it is very true. Vostok Europe makes limited edition watches. When anything, when the watch has reached its limit, they're going to make a change to how the watch looks. They did that recently on an Energia that you may know about. The A279 is now a new model, and they changed the coloring, and they changed the look of the watch. They will not go beyond the original number that they've set. In this case, it is 3,000. You can see on the back that it is named for Fermé. It shows that it is all stainless steel. It does have the um, the SKU number on the back and the fact that it does have the trigger light H3 illumination. That is the same thing as the tritium tubes produced by MB Microtech of Switzerland. It also makes the Tracer watches that we care here, carry here at r2awatches.com. So I'm going to quickly just recap. It is... A 48 millimeter timepiece, about about 17 millimeters thick. It has stand-up tritium tubes. It comes with a GMT, which gives you dual time function. That is with the NH34 Seiko movement. That means it is Seiko Instruments. If it starts with an N, it is Seiko Instruments. That's the NH34 22 jeweled movement. It is an automatic mechanical jeweled movement in this watch. That means that if you wear it all the time, you should never have to wind it. Although I will tell you, if you sit the watch down on your, it's got about a 40 something hour power reserve. That means it's fully wound. It's going to run for about 40 hours. If you set it down on your dresser on the weekend, you pick it up on Monday and it's completely dead. You do want to give it about 10 or 20 turns to let it get it going, just in case you're not giving it enough energy with your wrist. So this is the Atomic Age Fairmade Collection from Vostok Europe. My name is Craig Hester. I'm with r2awatches.com. That's the letter R, the number two, the letter A, watches.com. You've got three styles here, the yellow and black, the black and red, and the blue in the amazing Atomic Age collection from Vostok Europe. And until next time, keep watching.